Good evening, I'm Jennifer Griswold. As we first told you last night, Lincoln police arrested two former Nebraska football players in a sexual assault case. Katerian Legrone is charged with first degree sexual assault, while Andre Hunt was arrested on suspicion of aiding and abetting first degree sexual assault. Both charges are felonies. The two men had their preliminary bond hearings today. Reporter Phil Bergman is live in front of Memorial Stadium and has more from Lincoln tonight. Phil. Good evening, Jenny. Yes, both players are former players now held their preliminary bond hearings at the Lancaster County Court this afternoon. No information whatsoever about the arrests were made about this case. The judge set bail for Legrone at $50,000. He can be released after posting 10% of it. Hunt, meanwhile, had a $100,000 personal recognizance bond, meaning he can leave with just a signature and will pay the fine if he doesn't return. He was expected to leave on Wednesday afternoon. From the beginning, this is clearly a case of buyer's remorse. Carlos A. Monzon is Hunt's lawyer. He said the alleged victim met his client on a dating app and knew she would be having sex with Hunt. And the intention of that young woman when she went to Mr. Hunt's apartment was to have sex with him. So now after she had sex, now she's screaming rape. The issue here, though, is whether uh, the accuser is a victim. I mean, before we get there, we have to look at whether what the person says happened, happened. John Barry signed on as Legrone's attorney today. He said Title IX cases are tricky and his client is innocent until proven otherwise. Title IX is a federal law that protects gender equity for students. So understand that a Title IX allegation, a Title IX finding means nothing in a criminal case. Mr. Legrone is presumed innocent and he has due process rights. Currently, Legrone and Hunt are both suspended from the University of Nebraska but remain in the student directory. Students we talked to on campus say they feel safer knowing the university investigates Title IX matters. But I guess it makes me feel safer knowing that it's being taken care of and that I don't have to worry about those kinds of things on campus. I feel like on campus you should feel safe. And so, especially with sexual assault victims and stuff like that, it's, it's kind of hard to feel safe if stuff like that is happening. When I asked Monzone about Hunt's suspension from school, he had a different take. As a parent, I would be afraid as to where we send our children, knowing that a Title IX office takes a position as they have taken into this case. As part of today's hearing, both Legrone and Hunt were required to sign a waiver of extradition, agreeing to not leave the state without court approval and to not talk with the victim. Legrone's arraignment will be Thursday at 2 p.m., while Hunt's will be on December 20th at 10.30 a.m. And during Legrone's uh, part of the case today, they were uh, discussed that there was a subpoena for documentation that was received yesterday. John Barry, Legrone's lawyer, says that he believes this information to be the Title IX documents that Legrone discussed while talking with the University of Nebraska's Title IX coordinator. As well, ESPN reported this afternoon that multiple other alleged victims have come out with complaints since this weekend accusing Hunt and Legrone of sexual assault. I went to the Lincoln Police Department to look for these records. However, in the Lincoln Police Department records currently, there's only one report filed with Legrone and Hunt's name on that, and that was dated August 25th. We'll have much more on this case as it continues to develop. Reporting outside of Memorial Stadium in Lincoln, Phil Bergman, 3 News Now.